DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. DHCP is an application layer protocol and is used to control the network configuration of a host through a remote server. It comes installed as a default feature in most of the contemporary operating systems. DHCP is an excellent alternative when it comes to time-consuming manual configuration of network sec settings on a host or a network device. DHCP works as a client server model and uses UDP that is user data gram protocol for communication. Now we will understand the DORA process in DHCP in detail. The DHCP DORA process stands for the following message flows between the client and the server. In all, these are four flows which include first, the discover, second, offer, third, request, and fourth, acknowledge. The diagram depicts the message flow between the DHCP client and the DHCP server. Steps of DORA process in DHCP. Now, let's take a look at what happens when these messages are exchanged between DHCP client and DHCP server. In fact, two key items that should be kept into mind as well are network layer broadcast and data link layer broadcast. Step 1. DHCP discover. In this case, the DHCP client sends out a DHCP discover message to find out the DHCP server. DHCP discover message is a layer 2 broadcast as well as a layer 3 broadcast. Now let's understand the fields in the DHCP discover message. First in the packet, the source IP is 0.0.0.0, .0, while the destination IP is all 255. In the frame, the source MAC is the DHCP client's MAC address, while the destination MAC is all FF, hence the broadcast at the layer 2 level also. In fact, the above fields clearly show that DHCP discover message is a network layer and data link layer broadcast. DHCP offer, that is step 2. DHCP server receives the DHCP discover message from the client and sends back the DHCP offer message with field information as below. In the packet, source IP is DHCP server IP address and destination IP is again all 255. Basically, it is the broadcast as client still has no IP address. In the frame, the source MAC is the MAC address of the DHCP server, while the destination MAC is the DHCP client's MAC address. It is clear that DHCP offer message is a layer 2 unicast but still a layer 3 broadcast. Next, the step 3 which is DHCP request. DHCP client receives the DHCP offer from the DHCP server and sends back a DHCP request message with the following fields. In the packet, the source IP is again all zeros since still the IP address hasn't been assigned to the client and the destination IP is all 255 because still the broadcast as client must have received the offer from more than one DHCP server in their domain and the DHCP client accepts the offer that it receives the earliest and by doing a broadcast it intimates the other DHCP server to release the offered IP address to their available pool again. In case of the frame the source MAC is the DHCP client's MAC address and the destination MAC is the DHCP server's MAC address. Above fields conclude that DHCP request message is also a layer 2 unicast and a layer 3 broadcast. DHCP acknowledgement. Once the DHCP client sends the request to get the offered IP address, DHCP server responds with an acknowledge message towards DHCP client with below fields. 
in case of packet the source ip is dhcp server ip address and the destination ip is all 255 in the frame the source mac is the mac address of the dhcp server and destination mac is the dhcp client's mac address above fields substantiate that dhcp acknowledgement is a layer 2 unicast but still a layer 3 broadcast now that we understand the DORA process, let's go through some of the frequently asked questions regarding DORA. Is DHCP offer a unicast or a multicast? DHCP offer is a layer 3 broadcast as the server doesn't know client's IP address. It only knows the client's MAC address. What is an IP lease in DHCP? DHCP server allocates a dynamic IP address to the client for a period that is lease known as the IP lease. What is the default duration of IP lease in DHCP? The default duration of IP lease is 8 days. What is a DHCP port number? DHCP uses UDP port number 67 for the destination server and UDP port number 68 for the client. What do you understand by NAC in DHCP? DHCP NACK message is sent to the client to tell that the requested IP address can't be provided by the DHCP server. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.